Hello and thanks for watching the Ancient Speak. Let's learn Chinese from the wisdom of the ancients. In our previous episode, we've learned four of the five constant virtues in Chinese culture. They are Ren, benevolence, Yi, righteousness and justice, Li, adequate or courtesy, and Zhi, wisdom. In today's episode, let's once again talk about the fourth virtue. But first, let's review the Chinese word zhi. The upper part of zhi is zhi, which itself the Chinese word for knowledge. The lower part is yu, which looks pretty much like ri, the word for the sun or day. But looking closer, we see that yu is wider and shorter than ri. In Old Chinese, yu means to talk. So putting zhi and yu together, we get the word zhi, which reminds us of a person talking about knowledge. The basic meaning of the word zhi is being wise or wisdom. For example, like the many words we use today, we have zhi hui, wisdom, zhi li, intelligence, zhi shang, intelligence quotient. Ancient Chinese teacher Xunzi says, Liu yan zhi yu zhi zhe. Liu yan zhi yu zhi zhe. Liu, running or flowing. Yan, words. Liu yan, running words or rumors. Zhi means to stop or to dispel or to be dispelled. Yu is a preposition word here meaning by. Zhi, wise. Zhi zhe, wise men. Putting them together, Xunzi is saying that rumors will be dispelled by wise men. Liu yan zhi yu zhi zhe. Merriam-Webster's dictionary defines rumor as information or a story that is passed from person to person but has not been proven to be true. Another explanation I read somewhere is vivid. It says, a rumor goes in one year, then out of many mouths. Rumors in Chinese, liu yan, can be literally translated as running words. Why do rumors run fast? American professional tennis player Venus Williams says, rumors are more exciting than the truth. King Solomon describes rumors in the Holy Bible by saying that the words of a whisperer are like delicious morsels, they go down into the inner parts of the body. Though described as delicious, we know rumors are not healthy food, for they crush and hurt many people. King Solomon continues by saying, a devious person spreads quarrels, a gossip separates the closest of friends. Rumors should be ignored and stopped. Again, King Solomon says, Without wood, a fire goes out. Without a gossip, a quarrel dies down. Teacher Xunzi says, Rumors will be dispelled by wise men, or I would rather translate it as, A rumor will be wisely dispelled by wise men. Sometimes we dispel a rumor by ignoring it other times by discerning between right and wrong and by guarding our mouths and tongues, we refuse to fuel the fire that the rumor set ablaze. Sometimes we need to confront rumors and those who tell them by speaking the truth in love to prove that the rumor is not true. Whatever it takes, we need wisdom without courage to boldly stand for the truth. I like to quote King Solomon's words again that we mentioned in one of our earlier episodes. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme, therefore get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Now let's review the Chinese saying of Xunzi about wisdom we learned today. Liu yan zhi yu zhi zhe. Liu yan zhi yu zhi zhe. Liu yan literally means running words or rumors. Zhi means to stop or to dispel or to be dispelled. Yu is a preposition word here meaning by. 
智者 wise men. Putting them together, Teacher Xunzi is saying that rumors will be dispelled by wise men. Again, Liu Yan, 止于智者智 And thanks for watching the ancient speak and learning Chinese together through their wise old sayings.